Hi, I'm Christine Cushing. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make some smoky, succulent, grilled baby back ribs. Little bit of effort, but maximum payoff. No boiling, no steaming, no smoking, all on the grill. Who's ready? Okay. Feast your eyes. Baby back ribs. I got two racks here and the question is always to remove the membrane or to not remove the membrane. So we're going to remove the membrane. So I just want to get my knife underneath that membrane like that. So you see how there it lifts up. And now I'm going to flip it around because I'm right handed. Grab a paper towel. Give me some spot here and now it's releasing and we're going to just pull it all off. Okay. The idea of removing that membrane is a little bit tough, but when you cook these ribs, you really can't taste it. But what's going to happen is the flavoring is going to go in more. The one slight disadvantage I've found with removing the membrane is a little bit more of the juices run, but you know, I think this is the most popular way of doing it. So now look at these babies. So now I can start with my spice blend. The whole idea of this method is what's the easiest way we can do it, get it on the grill and then just basically forget about it. So step one is my dry rub. I'm going to mix everything in the bowl here. This is my combo. I've got some toasted cumin that I ground. A little bit of allspice, ground again. Coriander seed. I like powdered ginger, it gives it a nice zip. You know I'm obsessed with smoked paprika, so there's going to be a little bit of smoke happening from that. This is a little ancho chili, which is a poblano that's basically dried. So it's going to give me some sweetness, a little bit of depth. And here to introduce another smoky layer is smoked salt. Look at how cool this is. So in essence, I said there's not going to be any smoking, but I've introduced some smoky flavors and that's going to sort of generate that little bit of smoky flavor on the gas grill without smoking, right? How cool is that? Again, you can play with these because everybody has their signature spice blend. This is how I like it. Now, another added treat that I love doing that's going to help is I take a little bit of, this is a sweet smoky mustard. It's a Dijon base, has a little bit of honey and some smoke in it. So that's here. And I'm just going to add a bit of olive oil to it just to thin it out slightly. This mustard is killer. It's really, really great. So it's going to add a bit of sweetness, just a bit of pow also, and then a little bit more smoke. Okay, I'm just loosening that just so that it's the consistency that I want right now, nothing else happening. And what am I going to do with this? You'll see very shortly. By the way, housekeeping note, my barbecue grill, depending on where you are in the world, barbecue is a funny word. Some people see it as a noun, some people it's a verb, to some people the barbecue can only be charcoal. but when I say barbecue, it can be a gas barbecue and it can be a charcoal barbecue. Okay, my little mustard blend. I'm getting a brush and I'm going to just slather this on both sides. So while I'm here, I'm going to do both of them. And this is just going to help that spice rub adhere to my ribs so it doesn't just all fall off, right? And it's going to introduce a little bit of flavor. And here we go from a height. Before I flip it, I'm going to give it the dry rub treatment. Color, smokiness, oh, this is so good. I like to use a little bit more on the meaty side, which is this side, and a little bit less on the underside. The smell of this is crazy. If I start sneezing right now, don't worry, it's just all these great spices. 
Now, if you like a little bit more smoke, you can always go in with chipotle instead of ancho, but I love the ancho is a little bit more delicate. Repeat on the other side. And again with the spice blend. Now you'll notice no garlic, no onions. Because I know I'm going to pair this after with a barbecue sauce, by the way, my espresso barbecue sauce, this is going to go super amazing with these ribs. So that's what I'm going to brush on it after. That has onions and garlic, so there's no onions and garlic here. Now, here's the thing. If you have a trailer with six barbecues on it and you're a pit master and you're competing, these are not the ribs I'm talking about. This is a rib that's going to be super easy to make and you don't have to fuss with charcoal and spending seven hours waiting it for, for them to be cooked low and slow. These are low and slow, but not slow. Maybe an hour and a half. Okay. So now we go to the queue. So 325, my barbecue is heating. Now I have the middle section shut off. I'm going to cook these indirect heat for about an hour and a half. Now it's free time. The barbecue does all the work. About an hour and a half. I'm just checking the progress 45 minutes in. They're looking good. I'm not going to flip them, and I'm going to wait to put the barbecue sauce 10 minutes before I take them off. Ooh. Okay, we're in the stretch. An hour and 15 minutes in, they're going to get a slathering of this beautiful espresso barbecue sauce. And I'm just checking for my husband's scent markings around the barbecue because he tends to be like, mine, mine. It's actually mine, but whatever. Let's see. Oh yes, these are looking great. The bone is just starting to pull apart, but not fall apart. These were exactly one and a half hours. Do you understand what I'm saying here? I promised you a little bit of effort, but maximum payoff. Look at these. Come to think of it, you can sneak these into one of those barbecue competitions with the pit masters. They look so good. Enough blabbing. Let's taste. Ooh. All right. I mean, you just got to get into this. There's no other way, right? It's time to slice them up.
wants to taste. <laughs> Look at these babies. Perfectly done for me, right? Mmm. Whoa. For me, the sign that you've got perfectly cooked ribs is they come clean from the bone, but they're not falling off it. You want to have a little bit of resistance, but then that bone is clean. Espresso barbecue sauce. Ridiculous. Just the right amount of heat, and it's the way everything comes together. The barbecue sauce with the spice rub and the pork ribs. You can't taste the things individually. It's how do they come together in that amazing symphony on the queue. How excited are you to make these ribs? Are they good or what? Get the queue fired up, make the ribs. Thank you so much for joining me on another helping of my favorite foods. See you again very soon. Bye.